Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. Um, just wanted to talk this morning about this fuel filter. Taco Mike, who's a really smart guy from Taco Moto Co., he talked about these fuel filters um, needing to be changed out at 40 hours. And honestly, I've never done that on a bike and I wasn't sure. I mean, it's not that I didn't believe him, I just, I just had never done it. So um, I had a tank that, that got striped from um, something. I have a video on that, but um, I decided to, while I was swapping tanks, I might as well swap that filter out. This bike had 41 hours on it, and um, I had the fuel, took the fuel, um, fuel pump out, changed the filter to a metal one, which is a good upgrade, so the plastic housing doesn't split anyway. So let me show you what I found. It's kind of interesting. So here's what I found. Um, he was saying that from the fuel pump brushes, there's a break-in period, which makes sense. There's armature in there with some little little carbon brushes and that there was a break-in during that time that happened where the brushes released some of the, the the material off of that and i mean look at this i mean this is something and this is definitely from the um the fuel pump because this fuel filter is up line upstream from the fuel pump so it has to go through it the fuel is pumped it goes through this filter and then it goes back um back back out to the fuel line to to the bike so um, and I've always run a fuel sock inside the gas tank. Um, that's just one of these little, let's see if I can get that off. So here's that little fuel sock. You can see it just slips in any OEM, KTM gas tank. You can get those at just Slavin's Racing or Takamoto Co. And it, it just gives you a pre-filter. There's a thin material that the gas passes through. So it's just a nice pre-filter um, to you know, helping sure you're not getting contaminants into your fuel. So I always run those on all my bikes. All you do is drop it in, so why not? Um, so moving back over here to this filter, um, a worthwhile upgrade. I went ahead and put a metal one in that I got from Taco Moto Co. You have to pull the fuel pump to do that, which isn't that bad, really. Um, I did use this fuel transfer deal that Taco Moto Co. sells. It was easier to get the fuel out rather than trying to siphon it and get a mouthful of gas. Um, I am not sponsored by Taco Moto Co. in any way. Just wanted to say that up front. He just has cool stuff. Um, so that being said, I put a metal metal one in here. There's a lifetime filter that you can get from Taco Moto Co., but those are out of stock, so I just went with this one. Make sure you get the um, arrow, the flow of fuel right, because these do have a direction of fuel flow. You can see that one um, flowing that way, so that'd be one tip. Um, so that this increases the reliability of your fuel system because you're getting something that won't burst. Although I have to admit this dark one was extremely hard to cut open and it, it I mean, I tried putting this in a vise after I'd partially cut it to see if I could crack it open and I, I couldn't, I had to cut it all the way. So this black fuel filter, I have to admit, if it weren't for this being dirty, um, I, I wouldn't change it, you know. I mean, it, it just seems to be pretty strong, that's all. Um, maybe they fail too, but uh, because of the debris in here, it's definitely worth, in my opinion, changing at, at 40 hours. And then you'd be good, I, I believe, for the life of the fuel pump. Um, so that's all I know. Um, I think it's worth worth it changing this. It is a good thing for you to do. Um, when you do get a fuel pump, or excuse me, a fuel filter, Make sure you get the size, the right size. This isn't fuel line size. This is a little smaller when you're in the gas tank. So you'll need those little, little Oedeker clamps or you could, could use these. Um, I just go with the little clamp on ones just because I don't want that to come loose in there. I'm, I don't, I'm not saying the other ones would. I think there are pros and cons with both of them. But that's another discussion. So yeah, increase the reliability of your bike and protect it with... Uh, you know, getting a clean fuel filter in there. Um, yeah, tell me what you guys think. You guys found this? Um, I almost didn't cut this filter open because it just seemed like a little bit of trouble. And But I honestly was surprised. I thought I'd pull this thing out and it'd be, it, it all look clean, like the brown part. But, you know, if you look in there, pretty dirty. And then this was catching more of the debris for whatever reason. Maybe it was the downside of the filter. And it is, you know, pretty pretty contaminated overall. So... Anyway, that's interesting. Keep riding. Get out there. Some get some two wheel therapy and uh, have fun.
and maybe just to put this in perspective, if if I hadn't pulled this fuel tank to get rid of the the stripe tank that I had going on from Nativ, uh, I I don't know that I would have would have done it this soon. Uh, but if you happen to pull the tank off or you're doing something where you're draining the fuel out anyway, hey, you know, just maybe maybe do it. Now on this bike, this has like whew, like couple hundred hours or about a hundred and some hours on it and I have not done it so I'm like man that filter's got to be nasty but you know how motivated am I to pull that tank off I'm not sure um, I am going to upgrade this tank to this low profile Takamoto fuel 90 degree elbow um, and when it maybe when I do that I'll have to pull the tank or drain the tank so maybe I'll do it then but um, it's one of those things you know how much how much maintenance do you do I was kind of worried that when I pulled that filter off, that I don't want to off the old fuel pump. I won't say that it was particularly easy to get off. I had to use a um, heat gun to to massage those the hose going on to to the end of the filter after I'd cut the clamps off because it is a tight fit. And then getting it back on, I was kind of worried I was gonna damage the hose because it was so hard to get on even with a heat gun. But it did go on. So um, you don't want to damage your bike doing prophylactic work or preventative work. So that's that's something to consider um, but the main thing is I didn't want people to stress about it but I do want you to be aware of it you know if, if you're gonna pull that tank off or drain it maybe maybe that's a good time to do it so get out there and ride don't stress about it but if you got an opportunity to do it I would I would have the stuff maybe ordered and waiting uh, have that filter and the clamps waiting so that when you pull that out you can um, you can get it done